Hey, what's up guys, Scampfeef here, and welcome to the Team of the Season Gold Most Consistent side that will be coming to Ultimate Team in the next week or two. Now, there are a lot of things to talk about in this video, and one of them being the price ranges of these players. I want to hear a lot of feedback from you guys' comments. First of all, which player from this Team of the Season Gold side are you most looking forward to trying out? What do you think their price range is going to be? And do you think that a lot of these players are going to be extinct? Now, obviously, each Team of the Week that comes out, the high rated players tend to be very extinct or even the low rated ones that are very popular like Fed and Von Blassie don't seem to hit the market very often and when they do the intercell but there is one thing to bear in mind it's team of the season a lot more packs are going to be opened now we could have a scenario where so many team season cards are getting packed that they don't sell which would suck but also on the other hand we could have it where they do sell and they intercell which means they're really hard to obtain which would also suck so um yeah price ranges could affect this team season quite a bit let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Anyway, what I've done with these players is I've gone on Footways, I've added all the players into a custom squad, and I've plus fived every attribute on the card to see what their team season card could potentially look like. So the ratings are not uh, confirmed, but the players who feature in this video are going to get a team season card, subject to them not getting an inform beforehand. Anyway, let's have a look at some of these players. We've rambled on for long enough. We've got Roberto in goal, looks like a decent keeper, not the best handling, but still got some decent attributes on him. Nathaniel Klein, looking like an awesome card. Will he be better in Kyle Walker? Who knows, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. We've got Garay, looks like a very, very solid card. Not the best pace, but defensively looks freaking awesome. Stefan DeVridge, Stefan DeVry, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but he actually looks pretty OP to be honest. Not the highest rating, but um, overall his card actually looks really, really solid. Marcelo, yeah, look at that card. They're going to be very popular, and uh, rightly so. That card looks freaking awesome. It really, really does. Very well rounded, very well rounded, very well rounded, sorry. And um, yeah, even the shooting doesn't look bad at all. We've got Morgan Schneiderlin, looking like a very good CDM. Not the best shooting, but he is a CDM, so that doesn't matter too much. Very, very nice looking card, in my opinion, along with Matic. Yeah, the physical and defensive stats on this card are going to be ridiculous. Looking forward to trying out Team Season Matic. And another CDM, there's a lot of defensive players in this most consistent side. We've got Maxime Gomelens, who's getting another Team of the Season card. Very, very nice. Looking very similar to Snyderland's card, to be honest. But uh, yeah, both look very, very appealing. And then we come on to Marquisio, who is probably one of the best looking cards in the gold most consistent team. Because, as you can see, everything is most likely going to be plus 80s, which, yeah... Very, very crazy. You could probably play this card all the way from CDM to Striker, which obviously is very appealing. So I might have to try this guy out Striker if I do indeed get my hands on him. We've got Marco Verratti, who another <laughs> defensive player. Looks good uh, apart from the shooting and uh, very good dribbling on him as well. But the, probably the star of the show, the star of the team, is probably going to be Jackson Martinez. And you can see why. Pace, shooting and physical attributes. Wow, does that card look awesome. Probably going to intercell like crazy, but um, rightly so, that card looks freaking awesome. So, guys, that is the starting 11. Let's go on to the bench now. And as you can see, we're going to kick things off with Lucas Fabianski. He looks like a decent card tomorrow. It's good height on him as well. Not bad, apart from the handling. We've got Kana Ekin, whose normal card is freaking OP. So, I'm actually really looking forward to looking at this team of the season card. Hopefully, can pick it up fairly easily. We've got Van Dijk, who, once again... Looks awesome to be honest. His normal card looks really good. Just hard to get into full gold teams. We've got uh, Jordan Henderson looks very well rounded in both defence and attack. And then of course we've got Tiago. Now I actually really like Tiago. I don't know why. Always been pretty good for me in Ultimate Team. But then we have Bellarabi who... Yeah, there is one stat that definitely stands out about him. Have a feeling this team is his card. It's going to be pretty popular. So hopefully it can pick it up. But um, yeah, 95 pace. Something around that. Freaking OP. And then we've got Demba Ba, who actually looks awesome. Pace, strength, shooting, dribbling, passing. Yeah, looks pretty damn good. So now we're going to take a little skip to the reserves. On to the reserves we go. And just to point this out, the team season most consistent teams are the only ones that actually have reserves. The BPL, La Liga ones haven't in the past few years. So I don't think they will this year. So please do bear that in mind. Anyway, let's talk about some of these players. At, up first, we have Jetro Willems, who obviously is going to be very popular due to his hyperlink to Memphis Depay. And uh, his team his team season card actually looks pretty awesome. Good pace, good physical, good defending, good dribbling and decent passing. So yeah. I imagine this card will be very popular. We've got Natka up next, who, although pretty well rated, has some decent attributes and fairly well rounded. Obviously, he's got a nice link to Doombia with him being playing for CSK, so that's Doombia's pre uh, transfer. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all, in my opinion. Jordi Classy, not the best shooting, but still looks like a fairly decent card. Obviously, it shouldn't be too expensive, but um, I imagine it'll be pretty popular because I know a lot of the Edivis fans will definitely want to pick him up. We've got Nolita. Actually, look, it doesn't look too bad. Now he's got a bit of pace on his card. His card actually looks decent, so that uh, might be a nice, cheap team this season. And then finally, 
We've got Meyer, who is one of the top scorers in the Bundesliga. I believe he is currently the top scorer. And um, probably should have a bit high shooting. But um, obviously, as I say, I've just plus five every stat. But uh, yeah, very, very decent looking card. Because although he hasn't got the best pace, he is pretty tall, as you can see there. And his shooting and heading and physical attitude is going to be pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, could be a very nice card. So guys, we're at the end of the video now. In the comments below, I want to hear from you guys. How do you think price ranges will affect team of the season this year? Do you think so many packs will be opened that some of these players won't sell at all? Or do you think that most of them are just going to intersell? Make sure you let me know your thoughts below. And also tell me, which player are you most looking forward to trying out from the gold most consistent side? Which brings me on to the point, do you want me to do a team of the season most consistent silver and bronze video? If you do, I'll get that out for you guys tomorrow. Make sure you let me know in the comments below. But apart from that, have a very good day. Adios.